what was your thoughts when you woke up and you you, you read that there was an assassination yeah. attempt on Trump? Yeah, I, I thought it was like someone. I I legit thought people were just memeing. Someone just like making some meme became really popular. Like no no freaking way, man. No freaking way. It's like someone would be as brazen enough in twenty twenty four to do something like that. But I was wrong. I've been see, I've been seeing that actually pretty based photo. Like, yeah, whoever did that, yeah, good thing you missed. You got. I'm sorry, but you got what you deserved, and you just secured the man the election. Like he doesn't even need, need to lift a finger at this point. Like even yeah. or even before that, like every, you, he's already winning the hearts of the majority, and you yeah. just made it. You just secured this victory. You absolutely secured this victory. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, um, if you, yeah, he, this guy single-handedly gave Trump the election. Like it's mm -hmm. not and. This is absolutely crazy, though. So right over here, this is from Dave Portnoy from a Barstool. You guys don't know who he is. Uh, shout out to Dave Portnoy. This guy's a big guy, the, the pizza guy, all right? Um, I just landed and missed an assassination attempt. Holy shit. Had, uh, what a badass reaction from Trump. The election is over. He's the next president. The Dems should give up. They can't beat him now. And the thing is that, so over here, he's looking this way, and everyone's looking this way. And, uh... Like, uh, let's 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 see if we can play some audio over here. I don't want it too loud. You see something that said, "Take a look at what happened." Oh. See, see, yeah, that's actually a pretty slow reaction time, in my opinion, for Secret Service. They yeah, because they they were off. They were yeah. they were like right next to them. They were off the stage, right? And this yeah. happened in uh yeah Butler, Pennsylvania. This is pretty damn crazy. Like. See, what are we doing? People don't know. Yeah. Yeah. This is absolutely insane, man. Yeah. So the reason, okay, here's the thing. You hear, a person heard screaming, like, ah, you heard that scream, right? Um. Yeah. On this I side, the right, the right behind Trump, a person died. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing is, I'm not going to show it on stream because it's pretty graphic. It's basically like, brain matter like this person got hit in yeah head. yeah I, yeah so, i didn't um, see the exact one but i've seen one with blood all over but yeah yeah so the thing is that trump was this is crazy right like people like like this is like this made me when you're ready on you ready move move this is crazy man Man. Okay, so basically as of right now, he's down there because his face is he's bleeding. Right. I've seen pictures where like Trump is down there, like he his face is bleeding, is dri actually dripping off, dripping off his uh his face and stuff like that. Uh and uh it's uh what's it called again? Uh Peekaboo, uh I'm uh we will ban you yeah. if you say something like that again. Yeah, I agree. We will, we, we will outright ban you. Yeah. Right. This, 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 this isn't this isn't your first go around. And the thing is that you're talking about. Imagine if Xi Jinping got assassinated. How many people in the U.S. will be praising for his death? Right. You wouldn't want that. You don't. You wouldn't want us to be saying that shit about your chairman. Okay. Cut that shit out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So basically, they, yeah, it, for me, I think the Secret Service is very slow. Secret Service yeah. is very, very slow here. Yeah. This is nuts, man. Yeah, you should have evacuated him right away. Not, or I, what do you think was the proper standby? I would have thought like you would have withdrawn him as fast as possible with everyone covering him. Yeah. Um, He... I, I think they're checking on whether or not he's okay, right? Okay, I think it's yeah. checking on wh whether or not he's okay. Yeah. I, so this I, is I, I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend I'm an expert on this, but that's what just that's just my thoughts on what I feel they should have done. Yeah. Um. The the thing is that right over here, like this is this is the money shot right over here because look how many people are taking pictures in the back and stuff like that. And Trump, well, I don't even know what he said over here. He said that let me come back up or something. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. Let me get my shoes on. Okay. What's up? 
fight. That's crazy, man. That's that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, you see you see the side of his ear right over here? His yeah. ear got nicked. Now, if you, if you go back, maybe you go back right before he got shot. Like he does like a little twitch. Like he's like looking at the area, right? And he does a little twitch where he moves his head. What happened? Right over there. You see where he does this sort of like this little sort of twitch? Yeah. Right over here. I'm going to back it up again right over I, here right I, before the shot. I said, "Take a look at what happened." Right? It was literally like an inch away. Yeah. Right? Like in an inch like here's the thing i i don't like biden but i would never wish for this on biden yep like exactly. at all like this is crazy man like the fact that like yeah. i know look i i have i seen a lot of people online i have a lot of woke friends and stuff like that that, that that's been saying shit and they 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 wish trump they want it they, they wanted him to get assassinated Right. For, for, for Gray, how, how do you feel about this? Like, I'm not sure how it is in the Philippines. Like, ha has this happened to you in, in the Philippines where like someone trying to assassinate someone like that? Not, not, I, we had, uh, in supposedly incoming presidents that were gonna, that was, that got assassinated, but definitely not yet in my lifetime. Like, it actually, that it actually happened to me during my time, like during the president during my time. But mm -hmm. I, there's a lot of instability going on here as well. So, I don't know, but yeah, uh, this is not the way. This is not the way to do it, man. It's like if we just oh, we don't disagree with this person. Okay, let's just let's just end their life. Okay, that's not. It's that's gonna be absolute chaos. There's gonna be no order, and no government will be able to stop, um, to yeah. stop the discordant society. So it's funny when you're in the third party and you're just watching it. Maybe you're like, oh yes, yes, it's so good, but. Wait, let's see if it happens to you or your loved ones or your family. Let's see if it's still funny. Yeah. So yeah. So so he, here's one person. Um, posted it on Facebook. You had one job. Who is David Vander Vort? Vroot. David Vander Vroot. Worked at MTV Cartoon Network. Uh, worked on Leica, a Tit Mouse, uh, SPA Studios, Wendell. Wild, a uh, former story artist, and currently working at Netflix. Right? Right over here. This is this person's job. It's an, it's an artist. That, that, that's a lot of formers. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. Mm. So this guy said you had one job and posted it on Facebook saying that they you you had one job. And I saw there was a trending on, on Twitter says that, like, why did you miss? Right, yeah. this is absolutely insane, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't like for us like here. Like this is my first assassination that I've seen. Like an attempt that I've seen. Yeah. Of course, people mentioned yeah. in chat Reagan, JFK, um, you know Abraham, uh, and Abe Lincoln, a bunch of other people, and I believe there's another president that got shot and he ended up like doing his his um his uh, speech anyways. But yeah. It's uh this is this is absolutely insane, right? He gets back up and like he and like this is like he get he 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 gets brought off and then of course um there's a person that's on this side that ended up dying, right? I believe I'm not sure if this person is pointing at it or something like that. And then now you even have Elon Musk saying, I fully endorse President Trump and I hope for his yep. rapid recovery. Right, Elon yep. Musk has never once came out and vote and said he endorsed. Yeah, exactly. He was always neutral. He was always neutral. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like most wasn't that a couple years ago. Shinzo Abe was assassinated by a homemade shotgun. Yep. Right. I'm I'm huh. I'm ready. I'm ready now. I I I am ready, chat. Oh man. Now more than ever. Now more than ever. Like I'm not even joking, dude. Like Jesus Christ, man. Like if if he's not gonna win the nomination, if he's not gonna win presidency now, like like what what they, will, right? Yeah, they really, really wanted him gone. Right? Yeah. And this is the photo right here. 
this is the photo. Right? Like I I I've, I've seen there there was a mayor or um or a governor in Mexico or Mexico City. I, it was like a month ago or something like that. Literally like once he won, there's a guy who basically sort of like walked up right behind him and shot him in the back of the head. Mm -hmm. Right? This picture goes really hard. Yeah. And and the thing is I I was um it's around three o'clock when it happened. Like my my brother in law, he messaged me and said, uh, Trump assassination attempt happened today. It was an attempt on us to assassinate him. I'm like, that's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Like absolutely crazy. Right. I actually really like this hat. This this black version, all black version is actually really cool. But yeah, and here here's a close up shot. And you see it, it winged his ear. It literally like grazed his ear. Yeah. This this is this is insane, man. And I, I have people who are on Facebook making fun of him. Like, hope hopefully your ear pierce will be a reminder what a shitty president you are, right? And even people who are complaining about, um, oh, where's the good guy with a gun to stop the bad guy with a gun? As you as you guys don't, as you guys already know, the bad guy with a gun is deceased, and this guy is the guy. This is the guy. I'm not going to show the after because the after is pretty gruesome. And uh, yeah, it, he, he, it, it was literally if he moved like a, like an inch. Yeah. That way Maybe it would hit his eye. Not eyes. even. Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy, man. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, of course, you already have the mainstream media coming out and saying shit like this right over here. First one. Right over here, this is from Adam Kriggles. Adam Krigler, right over here. This is from Associated Press. Breaking, Donald Trump has been escorted off the stage by Secret Surfers during a rally after loud noises ring out in the crowd. Another one from the mainstream media. From NBC News, Secret Service rushes Trump off stage after popping noises heard at Pennsylvania rally. Pop, what is popcorn? God damn it. Yeah, just Popping noises, man. Here's another one from USA Today. Trump removed from stage by Secret Service after loud noises startles former president. Loud noises. Oh, my God, man. As, as if these kinds of events don't have any... What is this, the library? Yeah, and, and the last one from CNN. Secret Service rushes Trump off stage after he falls at rally. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Right? Yeah. This is absolutely insane. And then the fact that CNN had to come out and fix it is because they knew there was an actual assassination attempt. Trump shooting being investigated as an attempted assassination. So the reason why the mainstream media all coordinated to do this is because they were towed to. Yep. Right up here. Trump rally story. Hello. Reminder to stick to facts. Don't speculate, editorialize, sensationalize, or jump to conclusions when reporting on Trump rally incident today. Don't call it assassination attempt unless authority says it is. Uh, say it is. Don't say shooting target Trump or the rally unless authorities confirm that connection. Clarify if it's actually gunshots. That's unclear at the moment. If authorities don't know, then it's okay to say that. Anchors, reminder to be mindful of body language when presenting story. No need for serious face or adding comments and adjectives for color. And it took Joe Biden two hours, Obama two hours, Kamala Harris two hours, to come out and say, "Oh, I heard something happened. I'm, I hope Joe. Bi I'm, I hope Trump is okay." Two hours. Yeah. It, you it, know what? It a, yeah, go ahead. It's it, it's a coincidence that all of them are exactly the same time later. When you all, all of them are literally two hours later, like it's almost like it's a coordinated social media attempt rather than like sincerely saying what you want to say. Like, yes. if you're like if you're that influential in politics, and if you really something big really big happened and you really mean what you say i i don't think 
that's just my personal opinion. I don't think you need to let it go through PR to say something rather than all of you doing it all at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so um, the thing is, if you actually look at Joe Biden's um, Twitter, Twitter statement and Kamala Harris's statement, they're exactly the same. It just re it's like why are they exactly the, 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 the why are they exactly the same? Right? Uh let's see. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull up Joe Biden's uh post and I'm gonna pull up Kamala Harris's post. Kamala Harris, right over here. So boom. I have been briefed on the shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. I have been briefed on a shooting at former President Trump's event in Pennsylvania. It's all the same. It's, it's all basically like, okay, have the same thing, have the same paragraph, but change a little bit. Add a little bit here. The reason why is because they don't really care. Right? The thing is that they know Joe Biden can't run. They know that he, he's not going to win. And furthermore... Do you know how long Joe Biden takes when there is a gun shooting, like a mass shooting? L literally within half an hour, he there's something out on because it's some something that they would do. They always say, never let a good tragedy go to waste. Yeah. So um the thing is right over here, Trump makes a statement right over here on Truth Social. He says, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all the law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It, so I didn't know there's another person who was injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced my upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and I heard a whizzing sound shots and immediately felt a bullet ripping through my skin. Much bleeding took place so I realized then what was happening. God bless America, which is... That's absolutely fucking insane that this shit happened today, man. Yeah. Like, holy crap, dude. Um, Like... How do you like how do you feel about Trump for a person who's living in the Philippines? Uh honestly, it's like I am not really too invested into politics because I've seen what it does to uh my friends and people around me. It's like mm -hmm. uh if you get so into it, like it changes you in a not so good way. I've seen us, I've seen like really legit decent people in social media. I've seen how crude their posts have become over time. The, the deeper they get into politics. So I like to think of it as like whatever the people decide, then that's pro um and that's what we'll go for. It's like, yeah, yeah, sometimes they're um it's not maybe not necessarily the best approach or the best um way of thinking about it, but these are things that you cannot really change on your own. It's something that you um that you just it's gonna happen whether you like it or not. Like if like the revolutionary way of thinking, it's like it takes yeah. a certain amount of effort and change to too many people for it to actually happen. That I it's not realistic in today's standards, in at least in my opinion. It's like it's like a lot of people actually have like have steady lives or have to take care of their families than think about all this political nonsense going on. It's like it's powerful people going against powerful people. So whoever who, Who's the more powerful one? Then that's the winner. That's how I always think about it. Because uh, what matters is like you're like making an honest living and taking care of the people you love. That, that, that's all that matters. Like yeah. whoever's in power is like unless you're super super close to them or you're very very close to that um to the people involved. That's the only time you'll take it more seriously. But if you're outside of that, I don't I don't take it too much into heart. Like these crazy people doing what they're doing. It's like. Like it doesn't matter who's Trump, Biden, or whoever they're gonna they're gonna push for the Democrats. It your life is not gonna change who whoever's in power. It's up to you to to be able to take action and to um make the proper des decisions 
to be able to uplift to where you want your life to be. It's not any of these people. I was like, maybe before back in my high school or college, early college days, like, yeah, I, I used to care more about it. But when I think as I grow older and as I'm working, um, yeah, doing stuff like this or working, it's like, it's really, uh, it's really just up to me. It's like how I want my life to change, how I want to evolve my life and help pe the people I love, my friends and family. It's not these people in power. That's why I personally, don't, I'm not too invested in globally and here in the Philippines. Yep. So here's the thing. So this is the shooter right over here. Like I said, I do have, I do have another photo of, of the shooter, but I'm not going to show it because it's pretty graphic. This is the shooter. The thing is, the shooter was not that far from, from where Trump was uh, talking, right? He was a shooter was over here. He somehow climbed on top of these buildings right over here near the top and then scooted his monkey crawled his way with his rifle all the way to the spot. Trump is over here. Right? He was standing right over here and Secret Service is over here. How the hell did you let the shooter get that close? Do you know how close this is? 150 yards, which is 450 feet. That's yeah. really close. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's really fucking close. The fact that you can get this close, there, the, the sniper was right over here. There was a sniper right over here. Let me see if I can find the, the, the image, uh, the photo of the sniper. Okay. So over here, this, this, is, a, this, is, this is a sniper right over there. You see it? Like, he, I, I can't really uh, zoom up. It's not letting me. The sniper was literally right here. He saw it. Right. The sniper was that close to Trump. And then this guy was uh, only 150 yards. Like, how did you fail this bad? How did you fail this bad? Right. Glimpse it. No, you guys, it's. The back of his head was blown off. OK, that, that's all I'm going to say. A court, a, it's basically through it's the impact was through the face. The back of you can see over here. The back of the neck is gone. Like you can see the back, you know, you know how you can see the back of when you see your ear, you can see the back of your neck Ooh. a little bit. This whole entire area is, is gone. Ooh. It's um it's blood everywhere and shit. Like I I I will I will I, I won't show it to you guys. There's it's probably on on Twitter or on X. But the thing is that that's the bullet that whizzed by his ear. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like yep. if it if you just like a lit, a teeny tiny bit like this we probably wouldn't be talking right now I I I believe because it's yeah the the the, the chaos it will cause I I can't imagine yeah look look how that's so that's crazy they caught this zoom and we're not sure what kind of rifle this person used 150 yards is not that far you can you can use a nine millimeter to do it but. The fact that it shot that far and that it might have been like a bolt action rifle, maybe. But yeah, the thing is that now his base, people who people who support Trump are like even more fired up now. Yeah. Like everyone is fired up. Like, are you serious, man? It's like if he's not going to like, I want to see his polling tomorrow. I heard someone mentioned in the chat that when Reagan got shot, he didn't die, of course. When Reagan got shot in the 80s, his poll went up by 22%. Right? So, oh, that so that photo's from TMZ. Okay. But yeah, that, that, that yeah, that photo is pretty violent. And the thing is that now I know a lot of anime people will not like this. Gray, did you watch My Hero Academia? Oh, I gotta continue that one. First, what? only the first two episodes, I believe. First okay, yeah, so they're, they're, they're very, they're just, very hard. There is a scene where All Might holds up his fist after a big fight and everyone is watching him it's because this is a big fight and he wins that fight. This is the same energy. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come.
Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.